Hey what's up everyone, Ian in here from Udroid Mania with 10 things that you probably didn't know your Android phone could do. So sit back, enjoy the ride and hopefully you learn something new. Not all Android phones come with an FM receiver, but my Sony Xperia Z5 Premium does. You'll need to plug in your headphones as they become the antenna, and once you do, you can surf away to find your favorite radio station. I've never really had any problems tuning in a radio station, reception is usually pretty good, and it uses less battery than streaming, so go try it out. If you're a fellow YouTuber, you can control your Canon DSLR camera with an app called DSLR Controller. It's found in the Play Store. Who doesn't want a larger screen than the one provided on the camera? It is a paid app, but for the functionality and the freedom you get, I think it's worth it. You can control almost every aspect of the camera from ISO, shutter speed, focus, white balance, recording, and more. You'll also be happy to know that this does work with various tablets and over Wi-Fi too, so you're going to have plenty of room to move around and do things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Okay, so maybe you knew this next one, but have you tried it? It's more fun than you know, so why not? You do have a droid, right? Because this is where they excel. You'll need a USB on the go cable, and if you don't have one, the link's down below. You'll find that both the left and right mouse buttons work, as well as the scroll wheel. You can pair this thing up with a keyboard and have lots of fun. So if you never tried this before, go check it out. Now this next one is for those that are missing their micro SD card. You can use your OTG cable to transfer files from your external storage to your droid. It's fast and it's easy. Simply connect it up, open your file manager and away you go. For those of us out there who are limited on internal storage space, then this may be the way to go. If you want to take your gaming to the next level, hook up your PS3 controller. Trust me, it makes the game that much more enjoyable. Now you can play these games how they're meant to be played, and there's many games on the Play Store that support this functionality, so go give it a try. Did you know that you could use Chrome to browse your SD card, amongst other things? It's super easy, just launch the browser and type files, colon, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, SD card, forward slash, and hit enter. Chrome will display an index of files stored on the card, and from there you can browse to a certain location like pictures and screenshots and open files. If you have an SD card in your phone, go give this a try. Taking a road trip anytime soon and don't want to burn up your data? Did you know you can download Google Maps for offline use? It's easy. Just find the location in Google Maps that you want to download, type OK Maps, hit enter and you'll be prompted to download the map. Pretty cool, right? Now I consider myself to be the typo king and this is why I recommend turning off autocorrect. Just head on over to settings. I usually search for things just to make it easier on myself. This way I don't have to remember where they are. So type in keyboard and as you can see here it's under language and input. You're looking for spelling correction, so go ahead and tap that and make sure that you turn it off. Did you know you could receive your text messages right on your PC or Mac? There's an app for that, it's called Push Bullet, which will allow you to receive your text messages right on your desktop. Simply download the app from the Play Store and the client side app for your computer. You can receive messages and respond to them without the need to touch your phone. You can also transfer files and more. And for my last item, I found an updated APK for remote play, so you can still play your PS4 on any Android device and not just your Sony. So if you're not fully vested in the Sony ecosystem, you can still reap the benefits. The link's down below, and if you need help with the setup, leave it in the comments. Okay, so there you have it. Did you find that you knew many of these? Because I'm hoping that you learned something new. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, then go crazy on that like button to let me know. If you're new to the channel, now would be the time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.